This follows up on, on a basic finding that we published five years ago, and that is that rats will help other rats. And that's really quite amazing. We, what we really wanted to do here is to go beyond the, the finding of helping and really dig down as to why. What is the motivating factor? What's necessary? What drives this rat? To go what we hypothesized is that they were doing it because they not only recognized the trapped rat's distress, but they actually caught it. They, they, they caught it. So they actually felt distress themselves. And if that is right, then if we block the rat from feeling distress, he won't open. And that's exactly what happened. So as we gave a drug called midazolam, it's a benzodiazepine, it's the type of drug it is, and its action is an, as an anxiolytic. That means it blocks anxiety. So we give the, the free rat midazolam, and what we see is they don't, they don't open. So that's really amazing. In the context of, of today's society, which is a highly medicated society, where lots of people are taking psychoactive drugs that might blunt their experience of negative affect. Our results would suggest that that will also blunt helping. That if people care, if their, their ability to yoke to another's distress is blunted, then their motivation to help that other individual is also blunted. We, what we think, you know, in humans, in rats, what happens when the behavior is rewarding is um, re what we call reinforcement, which is, you know, if you do this at a certain frequency today, and it turns out that you liked it, you will do it more often tomorrow. Uh, so, you know, for, for example, if you enjoy coffee, uh, you had coffee today, you know, you're more likely to have it tomorrow because you liked what you had. So we built this model. Uh, we built these simulated rats that uh, overall have the same probability as our actual rats. Uh, so we compared these simulated animals to the actual data that we collected and what we saw was very interesting. So for rats that did not receive a drug, uh, you know, the regular rats, uh, our actual rats performed better than the simulated rats, which, which means they find the opening behavior rewarding. Once they did it, they are more likely to do it on the next day. Uh, when we look at the rats that got uh, medazolam, which you know, is a drug that kind of blocks them from catching up to the distress of the trapped rat, we see a different picture, uh, which is these rats actually behaved worse or kind of equal to the simulated rats, which means you know, for these guys, helping wasn't really a rewarding thing. And you know, we think it's probably because they didn't see a stressful situation in the first place. So as a result of, of our now establishing that they help, they are reinforced to help, the conclusion is inevitable that helping is rewarding. It makes you feel good. So there's another message for society. Go out and help somebody. Don't take a drug. Go out and help somebody. It'll make you feel good.